Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, Francis Bacon's Op Studies. Francis Bacon is a Renaissance writer and uh, he is an essayist. When the Renaissance age, age was fully dominated by drama and poetry, he was the one who clearly stated that writing an aphorist, aphoristic style will eliminate will elevate the uh, style of the language so in order to show the importance of the prosaic language has written nearly 58 essays and uh, this essays were published in different years in three editions for example the first edition it has only 10 essays and then the third edition it contains all the 58 essays in total and uh, when it comes to uh, the concept of essay bacon was clearly influenced by montaigne because he is the one who inspired bacon to write the site this sort of essays and bacon's language has a cutting edge which conveys the message in a very sharp sense because it is more essential when it comes to aphorism and most of the lines in his works retaliates the argument and assessment which appears to be more efficient it it goes hand in hand and you have his most famous text that is the advancement of learning by bacon it attained a huge success during his career and it 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 occupies a prime top among various critics and writers during the renaissance age and uh, we all know that uh, renaissance renaissance age is a period for so many of scientific inventions we have uh, the concept of geocentrism to heliocentrism because it's very important when it comes to uh, the renaissance age because we all know the word renaissance which means rebirth but in what sense it is a rebirth first we need to understand that so in every sector in painting they found a rebirth you have michael angelo's sistine chapel painting also uh, every uh, painter during the time they come up with new ideas their paintings have given uh, a great message to the viewers and then in the field of science the concept of geocentrism to heliocentrism happened when copernicus proved that earth is not the center sun is the center in the year 1543 it it shattered the whole world because before that people believe that earth is the center we are geocentric and he has broken the cliched uh, belief and he said that earth is not the center where the sun is the center and other planets are revolving and rotate itself around it and the very dictum becomes wrong that is the sun the sun rises in the east and sets in the west so we come to a moment that sun never rises rises and the sun never sets so a great invention happened or discovery happened during that year and galileo gali he invented the thermometer so slowly and surely science started to find the gradual growth and it is also the age of reformation we need to understand that first because in the year 1517 you have the most important um, a pamphlet was published by martin luther uh, it entitled 95 theses against the sale of papal indulgence which was published in the year, year 1517 and uh, he clearly stated how things should move so all these things help to find a variety of changes in literature and also in the society so imbibing all those things people have an enormous growth in wealth as well as in knowledge the printing press was introduced by william caxton in england so that texts were printed and it is multiplied to the common people and uh, they started to learn they gained the basic knowledge and uh, it initiated them to grow a lot so these are all some essential factors of this age and uh, during this uh, 16th century we all know that poetry and drama was at the peak 
but he is the one who has cracked that and uh, he stated the importance of the prosaic language and um, his content will always be arranged in an aphoristic style which means the content will have a sharp edged message so that is what an aphoristic style which he borrowed it from his influencer montaigne and then the prose of studies focuses on the essentialness of reading and how it transforms an individual to a better life so it it that is what an essential thing just yes so we already uh, seen um, these uh, uh, works by francis bacon and then uh, the purpose which he insist in this essay does delight ornament and ability the three purposes of studies so this is what he insist in the very beginning of this uh, prose and uh, he gives a road map on how to study different kinds of books also he also informs us how to identify the man who is with hobbit in knowledge and what it does for what it does for the society and at the same time who has a depth knowledge and in what way it builds one's ability so we have three purpose to read a book either it should delight you or else it will make you to attain the rhetorics in language or else it will create you to smash off the difficulties you find in your life so a book will give it so we need to choose the book in a wise way and he stated clearly it also uh, uh, an idea to execute our knowledge from this books and bacon clearly pinpoints both the pros and cons of studies it doesn't mean that because of title of studies it has only uh, said the privileges or benefits of sa but also what are the negativities of the studies also he compares the books on what phase we need to study or what are the types we need to study he advises the readers to choose the book wisely which will enhance and the knowledge which gives uh, them a vivid ideology about life whenever they get into some problems and to reach the pinnacle of the success and uh, he also categorizes the subjects Uh, based on how we need to pursue some books for example this is a famous quote we all know that some books ought to be tasted others to be swallowed and some few to be chewed and digested and in this line he clearly stated we need to dissect the books what are all the books that should be studied properly and what are all the books that should not be studied deep and what are the books that should be imbibed in us we need to chew and digest it so that you you can move ahead in your achievements and then he has clearly stated what are all the subjects you need to pursue for example he says history make the men wise and poets more witty and max the subtle and logic and rhetoric are able to content and he is he also he has also made a comparison of body and mind for example he said shooting is good for lungs and a gentle walking is good for stomach likewise if a man needs and uh, to attain a wit let him pursue max if he needs to be more logic and argumentative let he study or let him perform uh, per, uh, pursue the law so he says every mind is unique we need to understand that first because every one of us are running for some purpose we are not in the same boat everyone will be having an interest some of us might be interested in war centric movies some of us might be interested in romance literature some of us might be interested in the rebellious literature so it it is more about one's interest so our mind is unique and we need to choose what are the books that should be chosen to make us to be engaged in studying so that's more important which bacon insists also 
and then the readers need to choose what is needed for them to overcome the barriers in their life and to attain the wisdom through the studies because if we study definitely it will give a sort of confidence among us and it makes you to understand how you need to behave at certain moment or how you should not behave at certain moment so it tells both the ins and outs in the passage uh, so in the studies and then we need to understand the next quote that is crafty men uh, condemn studies simple men admire them and wise men use them so this is how we need to understand it first for example crafty men means the the person who never have any uh, uh, aim in their life they don't have any achievements to be done in their life the only thing is they simply while away or they will simply pass their lives so in order to uh, dissect or in order to pinpoint their stature uh, they have used this term called crafty men it denotes the person who never has any aim in her or his life so that we never those people never know the importance of the studies and then simple men they will admire them they will admire the politicians the oration skill the people are possessing who are participating in group discussion and debate we admire we are following so many of political leaders because of their speeches if if a political leader doesn't have a skill of oration we never listen so a simple man will admire see how my leader is speaking how he is orating it so we always have an admiration towards them so simple men admire it and then here comes the final category that is the wise men so wise men will utilize it will use it for their betterment whenever we face in uh, we, we face some problem we use our knowledge to rectify it and that is what they stated clearly remember you have three purpose to the study which bacon mentions uh, uh, mentions that is one it is delight and another one it is ornament and the third one it is ability so wise men build an ability by reading books so this will teach us to understand how we need to pursue the books how you need to select the books in what sense you need to read so all these things are insisted in this uh, prose and then bacon clearly stated an another thing that is read not to debate and confuse that means what don't try to study to show off you study to make you more knowledgeable more polite in the sense of knowledge so if we start to grow in the field of knowledge if we gain more knowledge in our field we need to be very polite we need to listen to others because we all know that reading is a process learning is a lifelong process it can't stop at any moment no one of us will say that yes i have enough knowledge not at all so if we read the same essay for twice or thrice even if you go for the reading in the fourth time again you will have an interpretation why can't we perceive this line in the sense so automatically we understand one point it runs for the ages we every one of us will be having a thirst we have great leaders like socrates aristotle so all those philosophers they study they study the law and that is why their names are still in this history and we are speaking about them even as an example we used to uh, mention socrates know thyself studies will make you to find meaning for this dictum and that is what he informs and then we you, we have the thing that is you should not debate by your knowledge you need to justify in what way you are right you should not make your voice to be higher make your points stronger and that is what he expresses in this essay and then bacon says one should not study to put others down they need to 
learn what they are in the state and then you have this famous saying see reading make a full man conference leads to a ready man while writing makes a writing makes a ready man so a perfect man will be made when he reads a lot so when we read a lot we gain the knowledge of others when we start to understand the points and the text from others we try to be more analytical and when we involve in writing we become uh, an evolved men among the people whom we are living because writing is not an easy thing it takes lot of time you need to refine yourself you need to be objectified so if you you are very objective then it takes you to understand a problem in an unbiased sense which is more essential to analyze and bacon concludes that each mind is unique one needs to choose his studies or her studies wisely to enhance them so this is what he concludes and uh, that is all about this uh, pros of studies um, thank you